So something that you can do on the Timeless Isle or the Isle of Thunder is you can use Meteor Chips. And the reason why these are good is, as you can see, you can travel very, very, very far towards rares if you, that's what you're hunting or world bosses or something similar. The reason you want to do this is because, especially on the Timeless Isle, you have a one minute basically spawn timer after the rare spawns. But if you're on the other side of the zone, you're not going to be able to make it over there. But the Meteor Chip can help you. And the way that you can actually properly use these to help help you out a little bit is you can put, if you're a mage, you obviously already have Blink. Or if you have another ability that can displace you midair, then that's good. The other option you have is putting it into your cogwheel socket because that will let you use one Blink. Now, right after I kill this, I can show you what I mean properly after that first try. We're just going to set a, a point over here. That way we can see where we're going. And then all we have to do, we click the ship. I fly into a building. <laughs> Unfortunate. So what you want to do is you can mark any location on the map so you have an idea of where you're going. You click your meteor chip. Boom. And then we're just going to look at where we're going, right? Okay, we want to land right here. We click blink and then we're displaced midair. The good thing about this is the meteor makes it so you don't take fall damage. So if you can't escape fall damage in some other way, you can very easily escape it just because the meteor chip lets you take no fall damage. Hopefully this was an interesting tip for you guys. It's something that I thought about when I was making my rotations, farming a couple of rares. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one. See ya!